Hey guys, um, I wanted to take a quick second to give you a quick overview of Zoom. Every class that I teach this semester will take place in Zoom. Um, if you do not come to class physically, you have to join remotely in Zoom. So I wanted to do just a quick overview of how to get logged into Zoom, where to find things. Of course, if you're having any technical issues, please let me know ahead of time. The first time that you log into Zoom, I would recommend signing in 10 or so minutes early just to make sure that you have enough time um, to troubleshoot. Depending on what you're using, it may prompt you to download an app. Um, the app is free. You can run it through uh, the website. It's just not as good as running it through the app. So a lot, at least 10 minutes the first time you get signed into Zoom. Um, that way we can kind of troubleshoot. I'll be in a little early, um, most classes, just to make sure if there's any issues, uh, we get those done before class starts. So I want to share my screen with you, my iPad screen. Um, I am actually running th through um, the iPad app, which would look similar to the iPad or the um, iPhone app. A lot of my students last semester joined in the app. You don't have to download it, but it is free. Um, it's kind of nice because it's all right there. You don't have to continue to go to the website. So this is what, when you open the app, it will look like. Um, yours may look a little different because it will just say uh, join a meeting or sign in. You don't have to make an account. The account is free. I made an account because um, it's where I'm teaching from. So yours may look slightly different. And actually, if I sign out, um, it should, well, it's not a big deal, but um, yours will just have, it'll prompt you to join a meeting. The meeting ID you can find on D2L under content. The meeting ID for every class is exactly the same. It's, um, I think, a nine or 10 digit code of numbers. Um, it does require a password for us just because I found that, um, it makes it more secure if there's a password. So you'll type in the meeting ID and then um, you will type in, it'll then prompt you for the password and your name. Make sure when you join that you type in um, your name, your full name, just because I do attendance from Zoom. So if you say that your name is whatever, AM, my initials, I don't necessarily know who that is. So make sure you get in the habit of um, typing in your full name, first and last name. So once you're in Zoom, it's going to look like this. Um, it'll prompt you if you wanna call using internet audio, go ahead and attach to audio and then you can mute yourself once you're in there. So I'm going to do that and we may get some feedback um, you'll be able to see me here. Um, that's where I will have the lessons, just kind of where stuff is. Um, to mute your mic, you will click the little microphone in the top right-hand corner, which I don't know if you can um, see that. I can't zoom in, but top right-hand corner, there's a mic to click it is to mute it. And then of course to unclick is to unmute. So if there's a slash through the mic, you are muted. Same thing with your video. Um, you can start your video for attendance for this class. It is required that your video is turned on and your face is visible in the screen. If I see this, I am not gonna count you as present. If I see the ceiling, I'm not gonna count you as present. What I need to see is your face the entire time. And that's just to make sure that you are participating, um, just like class. You only get attendance for physically coming to class. Same thing in Zoom. Screen share, um, you guys will not need screen share, but of course, if I sometimes will be working on homework and I'll ask you to share your screen, um, you would click on that and then you would click on screen. Participants, that's if you wanna see a list of who else is in class with you. And then um, more, the big thing over here with more is probably the chat feature. Um, so there's where sometimes students will send out like if they're having trouble getting signed in or whatever, they'll send in the chat like um, working on whatever, working on getting connected to the mic. If you're on your iPhone, it does look a little different. You will have to swipe left 
And if you swipe left, that's where you can see all of these features. Um, swipe right is where you kind of see all the participants. So um, I hope that this gives you a little overview. Um, ideally, there will be no technical difficulties on the first day of class and everyone will be up in Zoom ready to go. But I will be um, in Zoom. I will be lit responding to emails. So hopefully we can kind of get this um, get this going. We do have a couple of minutes at the beginning of class to kind of troubleshoot anything in Zoom. So try it out before then. Um, and remember the meeting ID or the URL, if you're gonna use that, is in D2L under content. It'll also be on the announcement page. If you have questions though, let me know.